There are moments in life that can change a person fundamentally, sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse. Likewise, there are episodes in history that transform society. And COVID is one of those moments. New York sees the moment for the crisis it is, but also the opportunity it presents. We understand the international trauma and disruption that COVID is causing. It has affected every aspect of society around the globe and generated new fundamental dynamics. Even this presentation today is different. Normally, it is given the, in the Albany Convention Center with thousands of people. Today, I'm speaking in person with a small group, but broadcasting, Zooming, and streaming. And in this new and different world, the audience is actually larger, not smaller. Technology and technology-based relationships, work from home, these are new realities that will have dramatic consequences. This next year, we will see economies realign and reset around the world. We see the risk and the peril, but we also see the promise and the potential. The question to be answered is what will we make of this moment? Is it positive or is it negative? Do we move forward or do we move backward? Is America, is New York stronger or weaker in the post-COVID world? Those, my friends, are the questions that we alone will answer in 2021 because the future is in our hands. We built the greatest state in the country once before, and we will do it again. In normal times, a governor state of the state address is issued on one day in one presentation, but these are no ordinary times. And our plan is more complex and detailed. I will give an overview today and then three additional presentations of specific action plans in the coming days. Allow me to outline the scope of our seven point plan. First, we must defeat COVID and beat back the assault as the virus rages in these next few months. It will not be easy. A high performing hospital system as well as the diligence of New Yorkers are the keys to stop the spread. Second, the vaccine will end the COVID crisis. We must vaccinate 70 to 90% of our 20 million New Yorkers, and we must do it quickly, safely, and fairly. We must also learn the glaring and costly lessons of America's failed public health system. So we are better prepared for the next time. And as we all now should realize, there will be a next time. Third, we must deal with a short-term economic crisis a record $15 billion state deficit that must be addressed in the next several weeks. Fourth, we must plan our economic resurgence. We simply cannot stay closed until the vaccine hits critical mass. The cost is too high. We will have nothing left to open. We must reopen the economy, but we must do it smartly and safely. Also, we must energize our lagging private sector and rebuild our economic platform, our transportation system, our infrastructure system for the next generation of growth. 